Okay, so welcome to a very short uh, introduction slash tutorial of Command Modern Air Naval Operations. I'm going to do this video or I'm going to uh, talk in the vernacular for the benefit of uh, uh, Filipino players who want to know what the uh, Simano is all about. So ito, ito ang Simano. No? Um, acronym siya ng Command Modern Air Naval Operations. So basically para siyang malaking military sandbox. Lahat ng military hardware pero focusing mostly on naval and air assets from 1946 hanggang 2018 or even beyond no uh, siguro 2025 or 20 yeah 2025 uh, mga future systems a uh, model niya and the stage is the entire world no you can actually recreate kahit na anong ano uh, battle na nangyari between 1946 hanggang present day so ano siya maganda siyang analysis tool at medyo ano rin siya it's a fun uh, si simulation so anong pwede natin gawin dito of course we can we can actually start with the pre ano with the yung mga scenario na kasama na nung game uh, meaning uh, yung mga developers ng game na to ay gumawa ng mga scenario based on historical events at saka mga what if events so uh, you would spend literally years siguro in trying to play all of them. Ang dami nilang in-include kasi, di ba? I mean, between 1946 at saka uh, ano, the present day, ang dami-daming conflicts nangyari all over the world. Dadagdagan pa yan ng mga hypothetical scenarios. Uh, past or present. Okay? Marami. Or future scenarios din. Pero ngayon, uh, kasi maiksi lang naman tong ating introduction, uh, we're just going to find out, kasi I have a friend, uh, if you're listening, I have a friend, si Patrick, and he actually mentioned about this uh, new uh, anti-ship missile in the U.S. arsenal. It's called the AGM-158C El Rasam. No? What's unique about it, this is it looks like a um, cruise missile. It can be air-launched, it can be launched from a ship. Tapos, uh, ano siya? Uh, supersonic. And uh, it really looks like a tomahawk now when it's flying through the air. So it's also stealth uh, capable. So <laughs> linaunch na yung ano yung missile hindi pa alam ng kalaban na may parating na na ano. So without further ado, dami kong ano dami ko pang sinasabi. Let's create a blank new scenario. So eto yung hindi natin yung magplay ng pre-made scenario. We're going to create our own. So dito tayo sa scenario editor. Ayan. So as you can see. Simano depicts the world as the world. I mean, around, uh, ano to? Hindi siya flat na map. So, flat earthers beware. <laughs> Baka ayaw niyo maglago ng Simano kasi hindi flat yung earth. It's actually a spherical world. And we're going to focus our attention dito. Uh, the West Philippine Sea. Kasi yung gusto nga natin gawin is, uh, yung scenario natin. Gusto natin tingnan kung how will this, uh, uy, nandito na nga pala siya because I was fooling around with it earlier. Uh, Incidentally, nandito na siya sa parang database box sa gilid. Yung Type 054 Jinkai na missile frigate ng China. Okay, sa Simano, before we start with a scenario, dapat mag-declare muna tayo ng sides. So, add edit sides. So, yung unang side would be the PLAN, which stands for the People's Liberation Army Navy, or the Chinese Navy. So, yan yung isang side. And US yung other side. Okay. Since ang una natin in-enter ay yung PLAN. So, ito yung current side natin ngayon. And which is, uh, tama naman kasi, ang una natin ilalagay, of course, here and somewhere in the uh, South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea is yung barko na yan. So, punta tayo. I, actually, we can just press insert on the keyboard and click on the map. At ayan na. So, dito sa add new unit dialog box, pwede kang pumili ng aircraft, surface ship, submarine, or a facility. Bale, let's say an air base or a, uh, a factory or whatever military facility uh, we are interested in a surface ship tapos ang side natin is of course the china yung plan so we filter natin meaning hahanapin natin yung parang we're interested in so 054 ayan up mali kasi united states yung pinili hanapin muna natin yung china china ayun so yan type 054 uh, Jiangkai 2 Ayan siya 
which you can also see there in the upper right hand corner. So nandito lahat sa dialog box na to are rich, very rich na information about this particular ano. Uh, accurate to within maybe I don't know. Um, according to the developers, quite up to date though ito eh, na information. Pero ag again, hindi naman sila privy talaga to intelligence reports, di ba? But we can, ano, plausible siya na quite up to date and realistic na systems na. So, ito yung barkong yon. And when we click on OK, ilalagay na niya dito sa gitna ng, ng uh, West Philippine Sea. Pin natin i-move. Pressing M moves it a bit here. Pero, um, ano, actually, uh, yung mga bilog nga pala around that uh, ship, ito yung mga range ng kanya mga sensors. Pero right now, actually, yung sensors niyan ay naka-off. Kasi nagpa-practice siya nung parang MCON, no? yung standard na parang uh, ano to? Uh, stealth mode. So tinanggal ko yung MCON at i-on natin lahat ng mga you know, radar, sonar, ano niya. Gagawa, gagawin natin siyang noisy. Kasi nga, this is a target practice. Eh. So dapat yung target natin is a highly uh, visible in the electromagnetic spectrum. No? Yeah, detectable by radar and so on. So ngayon, bibigyan natin siya ng order to move papunta dito sa Pilipinas yan uh, adjust natin yung kanyang throttle it will be uh, cruising speed at 15 knots okay na yan avoid cavitation yan. sige so papunta siya dito at 15 knots and I think it's good to go na so tapos na tayo so we have actually set up our target which is the Jinkiai 054 uy uh, kahit na ba target practice lang ito, it has uh, an impressive array of weaponry, no? We can click on that and you can see, oh, meron siyang mga anti-missile systems. Meron din, ito yung pinaka-deadly niya. I mean, for aircraft and it can also be used as an anti-missile system. Itong HQ-16A is a surface-to-air missile na very, very effective, no? Mabilis siya. It's, uh, I think, uh, flies at Mach 2 kasi meron siyang ramjets. No? Maybe we can actually see a copy of that. Ayan yata siya. HQ-16A. Ayan. Hmm? Ayan yung uh, on board. Nandiyan sa, ano, sa barkong yan. Meron din siyang mga, sana ba yung kanyang, ito ba yung kanyang anti, ano? Hindi, walang picture eh. Pero baka ito yung kanyang, ano, uh, and, ah, hindi, gun yan eh. So, I cannot find yung, ah, uh, Meron kasi dapat tong ano eh. Uh, ano ta? Ito guided weapon din. Anyway, without further ado, let's switch over to the US side. Switch to US. Okay, nawala siya sa mapa kasi of course, may tinatawag na fog of war. So, kunyari hindi kasi natin alam kung nasaan siya. So, let's pretend that uh, we're going to... Let's pretend na airborne na agad yung assets natin that's going to strike that ship. So, ang una natin gagawin is, uh, ano nga ba? Ano nga ba yung gusto natin itest na weapon in the first place? So, punta muna tayo sa database. So, database viewer, ang hinahanap natin ay isang weapon. So, yung type is weapon, filter. Ang class niya is AGM-158C. Ayan. Yung LRASM. So, by clicking on that, lalabas na yung information sheet niya. Yung pinaka-importante ngayon would be the default weapon carrier platforms. Kung ano ang pwedeng mag-launch nito. In this, in this particular case, aircraft. So, pwede siyang A-12, pwedeng B-1B, yung uh, ano to? B-1 bomber. Pwedeng mag, ano no? Pwedeng, uh, uh oh how do you go back? Mata ko tala eh. So, where is that? Ayan, AGM El Rasam. So, balik tayo sa baba. Pero yung what we're interested in, uh, eto, FA-18E Super Hornet. mag tayo na itong Super Hornet na to ay nag-take off from Subic. So, let's place that aircraft over maybe here. Yan. So, add new unit, aircraft. Side is United States. And hanapin natin fa 18 E. Yan. Yung merong may loadout na LRASAM. 
So, eto na siya. So, Super Hornet. Eto na. So, pag i-press natin yung OK, ilalagay na niya. But before niya ilalagay sa map yung ating uh, single aircraft, yung FA-18 Super Hornet, uh, pipili muna tayo ng loadout. And of course, hahanapin natin yung loadout na nandun yung ating El Rasam. Asa na ba? EGM 158C. Ayan. So, ito yung magiging loadout ng F-18 natin. May dalawa siyang El Rasam. May, dal may dalawa siyang AMRAM. May dalawang Sidewinder. And yung usual na fuel tanks, drop tanks. Okay, Duk. So, nandyan siya. Move natin na konti. Palapitan pa natin. Ayan. And, um, of course, yung sensors din niya disabled pa. So, let's go to sensors. Tanggalin din natin yung MCON. At we will turn on all of its, you know, let's make it a noisy, ano rin. In the radio signature, ano siya? Ano to? Yung parang noisy aircraft. Nakikita siya. Okay lang naman. Uh, gusto, gusto din natin na active yung radar. Kasi para just in case, kaya niyang i-detect na yung ship. Yun, mas madali niyang, uh, ano, uh, ma-target yung ship. Pero we're going to help him uh, in a way to do that. And we're not only going to use one aircraft. Para sure, kahit na badalawa pa yung El Rasam niya, kasi syempre may defense systems yung ating uh, Chinese cruiser. Eh. So dadamihan natin siya. So all I need to do is to press C so that I can copy. So yan. Isang flight. Apat sila. At pwede kong i-group yan into one unit. No? Apat na FA-18. I'm going to select all of them. And unit orders, group, selected units. Yay. So now, flight 6. Apat yan na Super Hornet. All armed with the El Rasam. Check the sensors. Active dapat lahat yan. Ah, wait. So radar, sonars, offensive ECM. Yan. Active na lahat. Although hindi ko pa makita. Bakit kaya? Balik tayo sa sensors. Okay. So, I think we're good. Pero, just to be sure, <laughs> lalagay ulit tayo ng isa pang aircraft na makakatulong sa ating F-18 Super Hornet flight. Still an American aircraft. We're going to... We're going to find an E-3 Sentry. Isang AWACS aircraft. Ito makakatulong kasi syempre, this is an AWACS, Airborne Early Warning, no? Meaning, it can detect uh, both air and la uh, surface threats. Ang lakas ng radar nito. Just, that, just be sure. We have to be sure na active lang when we place it. Ayan. Airborne Early Warning. Nandito siya. Tapos, uh, let's just make it orbit around this area. Kanyari, iikot lang siya. So, we can actually do this. Uh, F3 ba yan? Tak. Okay na yan. So it's going to go loiter around the area. Tapos, ang gagawin natin, of course, yung kanyang sensors dapat active. Okay. Radar, sonar, offensive ECM, active lahat. So, it's trying, we'll try to detect any contacts in this area. What will happen is, i-relay niya dito sa F-18 kung ano man yung makikita niya. Diba? Nakatulong. Oh, wala pa palang waypoint yung ating uh, FA-18. So, we're just going to let it fly in this general direction. And maybe just, you know, go back and forth here. Ayoko kasi siyang ipa-fly directly here. Kasi, of course, the uh, the frigate has defense systems. Delikado. Baka maano. Ma yung mali ko nga dun sa ginawa kong DCS world na ano similar scenario to this is yung waypoints ng aking mga FA-18s ay pinalampas ko pa sa ship, no? Pina, pinapunta ko talaga towards the west. Eh, kaya, kaya talaga the other, um, kasi medyo dumb yung AI dun sa DCS, talagang they got shot down kasi they, weren't, they were just ignoring the fact na, you know, they're, they're flying towards a well-armed uh, frigate. But this time around, we're going to be cautious and not let uh, not let our FA-18s wander or stray into that area. Okay? 
So I think we're pretty much done here. Meron na tayong AWAX. Ah, sige, on natin yung God Mode. Nandito pala. So, ayusin natin yung waypoint natin. Is skirt, is skirt ko lang yung waypoint, it, it will skirt the edge of the detection limit of the, you know, of the E3 sentry. Okay. But the radar is so powerful, kahit na nga siguro sa labas pa tayo ng circle na to eh. Kaya pa rin i-detect. But so far, so good. I think we're all done here. I think, I think okay na. Kasi what's gonna happen actually is, you know, yung assumption dito, ito yung maganda sa uh, si Mano, kasi yung assumption is, nobody wants to kill each other. Yung parang meron talagang standoff, standoffish na mode yung AI. It's only you, the player, who will decide whether yung kanyang action ba is hostile to you, no? Kasi doon na mag-escalate yung situation. So, maganda, kaya nga maganda siyang analysis tool, eh, to, to figure out how people react or how people decide on, on, on when presented a situation. So, ito na yun. Ito naman, hindi naman talaga to situation. This is just a test, a weapons test. How effective this weapon system is and the weapon plat platform from which it will be launched. Okay? Without further ado, tanggalin muna natin yung God Mode. We're still in the US side, so start. Nag-start na. Oh, see that? Yung, yung parang sonar ping na yon. That's the E3 sentry. This is our E3 sentry successfully detecting an object. Hindi pa niya masyadong alam ata kung ano. So, sa, sa US side, when it detects something, it will call it skunk. Skunk number one, detected by E3 sentry. Ayun, na-identify na agad kasi syempre, the computers on board the E3 will analyze the radar signature and it has determined na type 054 Jinkiai, Jiangkiai nga pala siya na missile frigate. Kamusta na yung ating Flight 6? Still flying towards that area. Since meron na nga tayong uh, idea what our target is and this is a weapons test, we shall declare this as hostile and just fire away, no? magta-target tayo. Attack options, target auto. But first, let's see kung kaya niyang abutin by doing a manual targeting and see kung anong aabot. Ayan, may green dito sa 2AGM 158L Rasam. So, fire is allowed. So, gagawin na lang natin auto fire. So, unit orders, attack options, engage targets, automatic. Ayan, pakinggan natin. Wow! <laughs> what you just heard... yung launch yan ng mga AGM-15C. Baka nga nagtataka kayo, bakit parang naiiwan sila? Kasi when it gets launched, it actually drops, no? It separates from the uh, carriers and then after, ano, uh, distancing itself from the uh, from the launch platform, saka magkikick in yung kanyang mga, ano, yung kanyang mga jets, no? And it will fly towards the target. So these are the FA-18s. Ito naman yung apat na l -Rasams. So it's actually going to, ano, it's going to, uh, alam mo, I'm worried about this kasi there's still a chance na maja-jam niya yan eh. Or ma magpa-fire yung ating uh, frigate ng iba pa. So I think I'm going to force it. Let's do a manual fire and force it to launch the remainder. I think there's still four remaining ano eh, uh, El Rasams. Eh. So unit orders, target manual. Okay. That's that's strange. So ilan ba yung release niya? Are you saying that these are actually eight missiles? Or just one per ano ang dala niya? One El Rasam? That's that's a bit strange. Okay, weapons, weapons. Hmm. Group weapons. 
four. Hmm. That's odd. This is actually I'm worried about this kasi maganda rin naman yung defense system ng ano eh. Even though this this is a stealth uh, anti-ship missile, there's still a good chance for this cruiser to uh, detect it. So, not really cheating, but let's switch to the PLAN. But what I'm going to do is to disable some of the sensors. Okay, huwag mo na yung sonar. Huwag mo na yung offensive ECM. Ano mga radar ang pwede natin i-turn off? Weapon director. Target surface to air. Passive. Tanggalin na natin yung ibang radar. Disable lang ng konti. Let's just leave one radar operating siguro. Yung passive only. No, no, ito. Passive search. Okay na. Yan. Baka, kasi we're just after ano naman eh. Yung ability niya to defend or how many missile hits does it require, di ba? Wait. Sensors ulit. Sige. Yan. Yon na lang natin ito. Nakakaawa naman. Sonar. Tanggalin natin ECM. Yeah. Okay. Let's check God mode. And let's increase time. Yan. Fast approaching na. So, in Simano nga pala, the units are depicted via symbols. No? And these symbols are interesting kasi these are the same exact symbols you can find in the uh, weapon display systems of AG's missile cruisers. No? Dali. Ito. Okay, so, try call it. Let's click on this. Wait, let's switch to US. Switch off God view. Hindi, okay lang. Unit orders, attack, manual. Yan, yan. Are you kidding me? Talagang wala na. Are you telling me there are two, there were, there are actually two, ano, F-18s here na walang, ano, na, what's going on? Let's, ano, let's separate one of the, uh, group operation. Sana detach natin. Formation editor. Detach ko yung isa. Ito ba yan? Sino ba nag-detach? Okay, there's just one guy. Ito wala na. Okay. Sige, mag-detach ulit tayo ng isa pa. Unit order. Formation editor. Ito. Sige. Unit orders. Detach. Okay, another one has detached. So, I want to see kung sino yung may L-Rasam pa. Ah, ito, may L-Rasam siya. Okay. So, let's ask this guy to fire again. Second salvo. Auto na lang. Kasi, I think kaya na niya. Come on. Fire L Rasms. Okay, unit orders attack. Engage manual. Automatic fire is allowed. Okay. Okay, fire na. Unit orders attack options. Engage target auto. Yeah. Come on. It's not firing. For some reason, ayaw niya mag-fire ng L-Rasm niya. Wow. 
Why? That's a big mystery. Sige, balik tayo dun sa flight 6. Detach ulit natin yung isa. Unassign unit. Formation editor. Next. So, unit orders. Detach. Okay, sino yung meron pang El Rasam? Ito, may El Rasam siya. Okay. Sensors. Okay. That's VCM. Let's turn it on. Unit orders. Attack. Unit orders, attack options, auto, attack that. Oh, this is frustrating. Ayo nya. No kind of problema. Let's go down to certain. Ah, wait. Getting an atom. Travel and altitude. Altitude is quite high. Let's go down to around 12,000 feet. Military power. Ikaw din. Sige, unit orders. Throttle depth. Military power. Go down to medium altitude. And three. Sige, let's dare it to go this way. And that way. Ito naman, dare it to go this way, that way, and that way. Okay. Ayaw pa rin niya mag-fire. That's very strange. Wait. Ayun na, guided weapon, El Rason. Still not targeting. Let's try a manual. Try time of manual. Unit, attack options. Engage, target, manual. Two can fire. Okay, finally, nag fire siya. Counter second salvo. So, what happened to our first salvos? Nawala ba? Yung El Rason natin, yung iba pang El Rason, where are they? I can't find them. Ah, ito. So, ito yung original uh, four L Rason. Still intact. Oh. What? What is this? Super Hornet. No, ito. Ito yung apat. Pero meron pang additional on the way. So, that's a backup plan. Kasi ang dami nga niyang ilo-launch eh. So, let's go to 15 seconds or 30 seconds pa nga. Uh, let's see. Pabilisin na lang natin to. We'll drop down to 15 seconds, so malapit na within the yellow circle. And 15 to 5. So, yeah, 5 seconds na lang. Let's see how it reacts. Okay, let's switch over to the side of the PLAN. Kung nag-detect ba niya. Switch to PLAN. Uh, God mode pa pala. Tanggalin. Ayan. Look at that. Hindi niya na-detect. Okay, let's give it a bit of help. Mag-on tayo ng sensors. Let's try to turn on some of the sensors. Freedom radar. Ito. 
turn on natin yan. Ito, turn on natin yan. Sige, tingnan natin kung anong madedetect ng mga yan. Still nothing, oh. Increase time, 5 seconds. God mode, on. See where the missiles are. <laughs> They're practically on top of them, hindi pa nila makita. Yan na, yan na. Just a few more seconds, 2 seconds. Still no visibility, oh. Walang, they can't see it. Editor, God's eye view. Ayan na. Practically, I, I see. Ano daw? Detected by type for me. 12 nautical miles. And person. I think it's too late. What can you do? Maglalaunch kayo ng HQ-116. Launch mo. HQ-16. Tingnan natin kung sinong tatamaan. That was failure. May tumama. Dalawa. Okay. And that's one. Anti-missile system was firing. Whoa! Isa lang ang nakalusot pero look at the damage. It's total. Bye-bye. So, damage, control, it's sinking. Tingnan natin na itsura ng damage control kung meron ba. Okay, damage control, wala. Ayaw na lumabas ng damage control kasi systems is all red, meaning wala na, walang pag-asa. It's sinking very fast. And to think na may incoming pa na, may incoming pa na, ano, mga missiles, which are now practically useless, no? Kasi tumama na eh. So here are the remain, remaining AGM 158Cs, the Rassons that are headed towards the target. So there, that was a short demonstration of Simano. Uh, Medyo may konting daya, no? Kasi medyo dinisable natin yung sensors ng uh, ating uh, Chinese frigate. But still, this goes to show how effective this weapon system is. I mean, one hit is guaranteed to sink uh, a Chinese missile frigate. So I hope uh, you enjoyed that short session. And uh, uh, mag, uh, you now have an idea how what Shimano is like, no? And, and, and playing it. So when we were playing it, we were, we were just up against uh, one missile frigate. So you can imagine uh, a complete scenario wherein it involves a lot of things. Several ships, maybe even submarines, air assets. No, you, uh, you, you even have the ability to contact satellites for additional information, you know, satellite info. So it's really uh, a comprehensive strategic, tactical, military simulator talaga siya. Okay, so that's it for now. Maybe I'll try another scenario later. Um, maybe I'll try to recreate again my, ano, yung utilizing harpoons, classic, no? Uh, utilizing harpoons to, ano, several ships kaya yung targetin natin. Several Chinese frigates or destroyers uh, and several assaulting aircraft uh, with just your standard harpoon ano, uh, anti-ship missiles or maybe maybe even exocet missiles no coming from mirages uh, maybe we can try that so for, that's it for now and uh, let's sign off from this video